During the war, Françoise was a teenager, and she had to flee Paris to escape the run-up of Jewish family and take refuge in various farms in the south of France during the German occupation. Other colleagues were to suffer the torments of deportation, such as uh, Julien Quint, director of the National Library, or the Greek botanist Roger Haim, who held a mycology chair at our Museum of Natural History. At the end of the war, in 1945, Françoise Friedel returned to Paris and began training as laboratory technician. Julien Quint and Roger Haim, survivors of Buchenwald, returned to their positions, Julien Quint as the head of the National Library in Paris, and Roger Haim to the Museum of Natural History. During those troubled years in Paris, the library storage had been neglected, and the room had become colonized by fungus. Julien Quint contacted Roger Haim, his fellow prisoner, and Roger Haim, the great mold specialist, hired Françoise Flieder to work on the treatment of books contaminated by microorganisms. This is how, from so much misfortune, the Research Center for the Conservation of Graphic Documents was born at the National Museum of Natural History. It was a rather complicated name, and in 2004, I simplified the name to CRC, the Research Center for Conservation. In the 1950s, in a very masculine world, it took persuasion and willpower for a single woman to build from scratch on her own the first research laboratory in France devoted to the preservation of cultural heritage. Françoise was a woman of conviction, and her troubled childhood had forged a strong character in her. 